Hi, my name is Dr. Robert Antelak, the owner of TheGentleDentist.com, located out in Shelby Township, Michigan. Our phone number is 586-247-3500. I want to talk to you about something that's very personal. What happens when you wake up in the morning? Your mouth tastes really bad, right? And your breath is usually pretty bad too, so your spouse will remind you, brush your teeth. <laughs> but what develops is something that's very intimate and close, but something that's not always talked about, and that's bad breath. What is it? What's bad breath? Well, bad breath is, is basically uh, an odor, a sulfur odor, like that in rotten eggs that you smell, that rotten egg smell, that's created by uh, the bacteria that live on your, on your tongue. And what happens is when you eat food and things like that, that, that the bacteria metabolizes that food and it creates these sulfur products. And usually they're harbored and, and live in the very back of the tongue, the back recesses there. So food gets trapped. It creates um, uh, the bad breath as it gets stuck between the creases and the grooves in the tongue. And it becomes, like I said, the nutrition for the bacteria. So these sulfur compounds are released and the smell comes out of your mouth. Usually at nighttime it, it develops more because as you have a reduction in your saliva in your mouth, which happens naturally as you sleep, the bacteria uh, continue to repopulate. Um, and, and that bad breath continues to get worse. So when you wake up in the morning and you have that nasty bad breath or that taste, um, that's why you need to usually take care of that. Um, about 90% of the bad breath does originate from the back of the tongue where bacteria are. And so what's important is that people um, who have chronic nasal drip are also more susceptible. So at nighttime if they have post-nasal drip and the dry mouth, that'll even make the situation worse. Dry mouth uh, caused by medications, dry mouth that's caused by um, people who smoke, um, dry mouth caused by just as we get older, people who have on cancer are really at a, a really bad reduced, uh, have reduced saliva flow and saliva naturally has this ability to, to flush away the odors and flush away the, 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 the food sensations and that type of thing that are in the mouth. And so um, what we want to do is we want to there's a few things we want to do um, to take care of that and if you're a smoker you know obviously it's the best is if you don't smoke um, but uh, if you have to then make sure that you really brush your teeth well after you do so um, anybody um, before you go to bed uh, make sure that you brush your teeth well and you can even use a tongue scraper to help remove some of this bacteria from the mouth there's a couple few other things that will cause this uh, one is dieting when people actually go on a diet they will lose, as they lose weight, they actually start, their stomach uh, actually starts producing something called ketones. It's not from the bacteria, but it's from the fact that they're dieting. So many people who do uh, go on uh, a strict diet and have lost weight, you also start maybe smelling a little bit of a difference in their mouth. But that's not a bad thing because they're reducing their body weight, which is better overall. Uh, alcohol also, um, if people drink alcohol, um, they'll also have bad breath because that dries the mouth out. So alcohol uh, uh, containing um, mouth rinses are really uh, a negligent thing because that, that also um, continues the, uh, the process of keeping the mouth dry. So even though you think that you're doing something great, it works just for the short term, but the dry mouth continues and therefore the bacteria uh, doesn't, they, they stay in the mouth. And so, uh, so what we can do for a treatment for uh, bad breath is to have regular dental checkups. Of course, that um, they, we, if you do have uh, cavities in your mouth, which can also harbor the bacteria, or gum disease, which also is, is, a, is a big factor with, with bad breath because um, in the gums, um, these bacteria can live, and also it, it also um, produces these sulfur-containing bacteria. Um, and eating fresh fruits and vegetables can also be very good to help improve your nutrition. And uh, chewing on sugarless gum, that increases the saliva flow. So that way it helps to flush away some of these, um, some of these, food contain these foods and, uh, and helps with, with the turnover and so you keep things fresh in your mouth. Um, also, like I said before, using a tongue scraper, uh, sticking, your sticking your tongue straight out far and bringing that tongue scraper all the way to the back of your your tongue as far as you can go and just scraping it a few times removes a large volume of these bacteria. So using that, using a non-alcoholic uh, mouth rinse 
and visiting your dentist and brushing and flossing are one of the best ways to doing that. So if you have any questions about that, you can feel free to call us at 586-247-3500 or you can visit us on our website where I do have more information on this, which is uh, thegentledentist.com. Thank you.